what we're going to be celebrating. We're also very excited that India is leading efforts to celebrate International Year of the Millets. We've incorporated millets, marinated millets, into our menu. You must understand the pressure I'm understanding here before you, but it's a kind of pressure that is also an elation because when you are asked by the First Lady to come and join her at the White House, it's an experience that I hope many chefs get to have. I am so excited and it gives me great pleasure to preview tomorrow's anticipated state dinner menu in honor of the Republic of India. This is definitely a pinnacle moment in my career and truly a pleasure to be able to work with the First Lady and help her to bring her culinary vision to life alongside Chef Chris, Executive Chef Chris Comerford and Executive Pastry Chef Susie Morrison. We have curated a menu that really showcases the best in American cuisine also then seasoned with Indian elements and flavors. As a native Californian, my ancestry runs deep there, but my parents were very, very instrumental in my foodscape and how I identified food. I grew up with eth ethnic diversity, rich cultural influences, and fusion food. My dad is chef and my mom, a great cook, really exposed me to the diversity of flavor, textures, and taste. Throughout my culinary career, I have witnessed the remarkable power that food has as an equalizer. A meal lovingly prepared and shared has an enchanting ability to transcend differences, forge connections, and strengthen bonds. Tomorrow's dinner encapsulates this philosophy as we serve this curated menu that allows guests from both countries to experience something of the other's culture. It's summertime. It's my favorite season as a chef because there's this bounty of fruits and vegetables that I get to share with you. They are light, they're refreshing, they're satisfying, and yes, satiating. So this is what we're going to be celebrating. We're also very excited that India is leading efforts to celebrate International Year of the Millets, and we've incorporated millets, marinated millets, into our menu and weaved Indian cuisine elements throughout the menu. So without further ado, have I wet your appetite yet? <laughs> That doesn't sound too <laughs> like <laughs> You need to hang out with me longer. Without further ado, let's dig into the menu. What did you like the most about doing that? What did you enjoy the most about it? As a chef, you know, we have to be open to everything, but the flavor, you didn't lose any kind of flavor profile because you always think of like, no, I have to use butter and cream, but dealing with all of the plant-based, you know, butter and cheeses and all of the different substitutes that we use. It was amazingly wonderful experience for me as well. It opened up my eyes and my experiences as well.